Hello and welcome to another DJF computer tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, it's Daddy James here with another unboxing tutorial. In this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna be on well, not a tutorial, but it's gonna be an unboxing. In this unboxing, I'm gonna be uh, unboxing a Alienware laptop that I got from Rena Center. I noticed online there was no Rena Center, um, Rena Center unboxing of a product from Rena Center. In other words, there's plenty of Alienware uh, unboxing, but there's not that many um, unboxing from like Rena Center, so that's why I'm going to put it on the title unboxing of a Rena Center Alienware laptop. Anyways, here we go. Okay, yeah, like I said in the intro video, there is a lot of tutorials and unboxings on the Alienware laptops, but I hadn't seen anybody actually admitting that they got one from Rena Center or anything like that, and then do an unboxing and a bench test on. Uh, you know, an Alienware laptop from Rena Center. So that's what I'm going to do here. Yo, yo, what it be, what it be? Check up in the house. Oh, God. You're back. Oh. Thou house forsaken me. Now, oh, what, man? I'm just trying to check out this sweet laptop you got here. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, but. Uh, yeah, pretty sweet, but you need to keep your dirty paws away from it. I'll put my paws on it if I want to. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, there's something I can do about it. I can call Animal Control. Whatever, fool. Let's get this unboxing started. Okay, enough of the comedy hour here. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, as you can see right here, here's the box for the Alienware laptop. By the way, this is the 14-inch laptop. The processor in it is a i5-4200M CPU at 2.5 gigahertz. It's four CPUs in it. The memory is 8 gigabytes of memory of DDR3. Okay, it has two graphics cards, basically. Well, it has an onboard graphics, which is a Intel RHD Graphics 4600. Uh, so that's, you know, the integrated graphics that's on the motherboard. And it also has an NVIDIA card, uh, graphics card in it that one of your gaming and stuff like that, it switches to the NVIDIA. Now the NVIDIA card is a NVIDIA GeForce GT 750. Now after the unboxing, I will be doing some bench testing. So uh, let's go ahead and start opening up the box. As you can see here, they have the, some cushion around it. Um, it's kind of like the egg crate cushioning that they have around the um, laptop here. Uh, that way it stays nice and secure. Okay, here's the 150 watt charger. It's a pretty good charger. It's a pretty good size here. Uh, the cable's are nice and thick and uh, comes with a, uh, basically a strap where you can hold the cables in and stuff. But uh, and it's a pretty good size uh, charger here. And well, that's nothing. And I took it to take this out. There's nothing under there either. All right, here you go. I'm going to take this out of here. Okay, I went ahead and turned things around a little bit so you can get a better look. But as you can see, here's all the connections here. You got a HDMI, some USB ports, and some audio video jacks. Uh, on the back here, you're going to see the power supply jack here. Um, on the front here you're going to see some sp the speakers on the bottom here you're going to see the ventilation right here which is necessary for airflow to help keep the CPU cool and stuff like that. Um, one thing to note is that oh well you see some more ports here you see the uh, Ethernet port and stuff like that and uh, of course the touchpad and keyboard. The uh, surface right here feels like a, a matte finish uh, matty finish here, so it feels kind of nice. I really like the surface of it. it really feels nice. But uh, as I was gonna say, the CPU on these computers does get a little bit hot, but um, uh, they can get up to like 60 degrees on it. Uh, but one thing to note is that you know the newer CPUs today can handle heat a lot better than old C uh, CPUs. So the 60 degrees is uh, is is okay. And uh, as you can see right here, I'm looking through and I'm seeing the install CDs for Windows 7 and um, some driver CDs and the manual 
and you know the other manual which it, I don't know it's kind of pointless to show this stuff I mean and you know it, it's just junk in your box that you, the most time you don't even need okay here you go here's the laptop right now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on just so that you can see the pretty lights because that's something that Alienware is famous for is for their pretty lights on their lights on their laptops as you can see right now the color is blue uh, it does change color, it gives you an option to change colors and stuff like that you would have to go in some of the sell settings to do that and you'll be able to change the colors to whatever color you want I was recording this with my Note 3 but it ended up dying on me so I wasn't able to uh, um, do, any, do any more recordings but basically that was pretty much it on that part uh, now I'm going to get ready to do some bench testing um, something to note as far as the colors you can always change the colors to whatever you want if you want to have the all the colors of the rainbow on your keyboards you can also what is also cute is that the mouse pad lights up too which that's cute if you're into liking stuff like that okay I was going to go ahead and use a screen capturing device to record doing benchmarkings on uh, on on a computer and stuff like that but the bad thing about that a lot of times it messes up your readings and stuff so I just went ahead and did the benchmarkings and I decided I'll uh, go ahead and post it on here for you to see now I used a couple of different programs to do this benchmarking with one of them was Grand Theft Auto because you know pretty much everybody knows Grand Theft Auto and know how pretty much it's popular so and plus it's also a graphic hungry game so uh, to give people a better idea, I went ahead and used Grand Theft Auto. But I also have a program called 3D Mark, and that program is specifically for benchmarking. And it gives you a little bit more better idea on what this computer can actually do. Okay, first off, I did with Grand Theft Auto GTA 4, by the way. <clears throat> and when I did the first test, I went ahead and did it on the default setting just to see how good it did on the default settings and after doing the benchmarking on that here was the results the average frame per second was 64 uh, the duration was you know 30, uh, 37 seconds the CPU usage was 67 system memory was 57 video memory usage was 33 and of course it went on to tell you a little bit about the graphic settings and as you can see the graphic settings was on the uh, default setting which most of the stuff was high because that was the default graphics settings for this card that's in this laptop okay next up is that we're gonna go ahead and do this on a very high settings and I'll, before I show you the results on this I just want to let you guys know I don't work for Renner Center I have no affiliation with them or anything like that okay now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and go over the results as you can see right here the frame per second on this one was 45 which is lower than the 64 but even though it's 45 it's still pretty playable at 45 I'm, I mean I played on computers where it was playing at you know 25 30 frames per second and it uh, it played okay you know it, it wasn't too bad off um, let's see duration will always be the same CPU usage is 76 percent uh, which is a little higher than uh, the other one the other one was 67 system memory was uh, it took up 61 percent uh, just a little bit more higher than the other one the other one was 57 uh, video memory usage is 55 uh, again that was higher than the other one the video memory on that one was 33 on the other one and then it went on and you know pretty much tell you that it tested it on very high and you know everything maxed out graphics all in all it played Grand Theft Auto really good even on the default setting it played really good so for Grand Theft Auto I give it a thumbs up and and if you're playing games around that uh, high graphics games like that then you know this I give this computer a thumbs up for that but let's go ahead and do some testing on 3d marks uh, benchmarking program okay 3d mark they have um, a couple of different tests that they do on computers when they do their benchmarking um, but actually they got three of them they got one for like low-end PCs basically for like budget uh, gaming computers and that one's called Ice Storm. Now they got one as mid-range which that's what most people probably have for gaming PCs that's uh, basically for ones that's good enough to play just by all the games no matter what setting they they are on. Um, <clears throat> when you want to do a good test with that you use cl CloudGate. And now Firestorm Firestorm is mostly for those computers that's really uh, where P 
people are really into uh, building gaming uh, computers and just want to max it out as much as possible. Um, now, if you have one of those kind of gaming computers, uh, you will be able to test your computer with Firestrike because Firestrike is is for extreme gaming computers. But I went ahead and tested it out on CloudGate, and I went ahead and tested it out on uh, Firestrike just for some laugh, just to see how good it does on Firestrike. But remember, don't make your judgment on Firestrike. Like I said, Firestrike is for the really extreme gaming computers. I mean, one where people have like three or four uh, graphics cards uh, installed into the computers. Okay, for the first test, I went ahead and did it on CloudGate. I didn't want to do it on iStorm because iStorm is basically for your, you know, your low-end budget, you know, computers. So I didn't bother to, to do iStorm. So I went ahead and just did it with CloudGate, and as you can see here, I got similar results to uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, and um, as you can see here on Graphics Test One, it did 64 frames per second. Graphics has 2, 67 frames per second, and then a physics test, which is uh, 9.86. Now, don't expect a lot from physics tests. I mean, um, you you probably will never get no really high physics on a physics test. Um, that's you know, it's really demanding. That's a really good score on a physics test. Overall score is 81.54. And that is pretty good. That's enough to play just about almost any game that you want to play out there. Uh, for the most part, you'll probably be able to play most of them on uh, very high maxed out graphics. You know, um, maybe you'll have like one or a couple games out there that you might have to lower the settings for. But for the most part, you know, you should be able to play max out graphics and play it smoother. But uh, for most games, you want to have your games around 60 frames per second so sometimes you might have to lower it just a little bit just remember 60 frames per second is the normal sweet spot of what you're looking for in frames per second okay up next is fire strike and like i said on this one right here it's for the high performance gaming pcs you know here so um so just for good laughs i went ahead and tried it on fire strike and on a graphics test one, it got only 9.54 frames per second. That's the graphics test two only got 8.86 frames per second. A physics test, I'm actually surprised on that. I got 14 on a physics on that one. And then of course it gives you a combined test right there, and uh, which is 3.83. And then total score 1957. Uh, not so good on that. But like I said, Fire Strike is for those high. Uh, graphic intense uh, or for those high performance gaming PCs and like I said don't base your judgment on that you know I've been playing this uh, Alienware for you know uh, about a week now just testing out a bunch of games and stuff like that and it has been playing the games really good I haven't had no problems I've been playing, playing Payday 2 on this game uh, for the last couple of days and I played it for a few hours on there and I ain't have no problems at all so all in all, I have to give this laptop, uh, laptop a thumbs up. Although the price that I end up paying for it after I finish paying off, I have to give it a thumbs down. It is pretty high in price uh, to begin with, and then on top of that, Rena Center is gonna, you know, end up charging you a lot more. But I can kind of understand that because they need to do that because I mean they go through a lot of losses. So in order to cover all those losses they make, they pretty much have to charge. Uh, you know double or sometimes three times as much uh, as the product that they're selling uh, otherwise they wouldn't be in business and then you got people like me that might have bad credit uh, you know um, needing uh, needing to get stuff so yeah um, to each his own I mean but anyhow if you want to get the laptop from Rental Center um, I'd say it's a really good laptop and if you're wanting a game on it this is what you want to look for uh, and I mean, there's plenty of gaming laptops out there that you can buy that is cheaper, way more cheaper. You know, you can buy for like six, seven hundred dollars. But you know, who has six hundred, six or seven hundred dollars laying around? Not too many people, you know. But uh, but to get a decent uh, gaming laptop, normally is around a thousand dollars. You know, Alienware is already expensive anyhow. So, anyways, uh, that's it for this uh, um, unboxing and review of the Alienware laptop, 14 inch. Oh, comment rate, subscribe, and thank you, and have a good day.